this is Rhonda and welcome back to my kitchen today I'm gonna be making one of those good old comfort meals um, one of those uh, recipes that just warms your soul I'm telling you it's a little chilly today and this is just going to be perfect um, I have had requests for this uh, recipe so that is why I'm bringing it to you today and that is for a chicken pot pie uh, you can't really uh, cook southern food, I guess you'd say, without um, throwing in a good old chicken pie or chicken pot pie. But um, this has been one of our little favorites, our little go-to. Um, when I was um, raising my kids, this was something fast and easy that I could throw together. Um, but the thing about the chicken pot pie is there's so many variations of how to do it. Um, I've been told everybody wants some shortcuts. They ain't got time to be rolling no pie crust. They ain't got time to be doing this and that and the other. So I'm going to try to uh, give you a shortened version of uh, this chicken pot pie. Now, um, if you want a pie recipe, the homemade rolled out pie crust, I'll be glad to give you one. Um, but today I decided I was just going to use the, just the store bought crust. So um, you can do this several different ways. You can do a pie crust, just a regular pie crust, uh, roll your own, buy, buy it, whatever, what have you. You can use puff pastry um, and you can even use uh, just the biscuit mix and uh, mix that with some um, some buttermilk and um, I just throw a little bit of grated cheese up in my crust and just pour a crust over it that way. You can also make, do it from biscuits. So there's just all kind of ways to make a good old chicken pie. And um, so I have um, reduced this down to a little shortcut for all you little mamas out there that's working or um, you just don't have time to work all day and come in and try to prepare a good meal, but you want to give your family a good meal. So this one is going to be a good one for you. Now, um, like I said, I am using the little puff pastry. So I've got me some flour here. I am going to roll this out just a little bit. Um, and you can stretch this out however you want it. I've got some flour on my rolling pin here. Let's just get this out of the way. And I'm gonna roll this out now. This is the size dish I have. It's probably about, um, I'd say about a 10, a 10 by 10. So um, probably says it on the, no, it is not. My cute little chicken dishes that Russ got me for Christmas. They are adorable. So I'm just gonna roll this out. Now I did, I've already rolled one out and I put uh, buttered my dish and I've rolled this out and I've got this for the bottom. Now this is actually gonna be the top piece. So we're just gonna have this rolled out ready to go on top of this whenever I get everything ready to go um, inside. Give this little feeling, get this little feeling happy over here. But um, this is how quick it is, y'all, just to roll it out. I just sprinkled a little uh, flour on top. Like I said, you can use the pie crust, the pre-made pie crust. You can make your pie crust. You don't, if you don't want a pie crust, don't, don't do it at all. If you don't want a crust, um, you know, that's, it's your kitchen. You do it the way you want to do it. So I, just that quick, I've got this rolled out. Um, I have already cooked my chicken. Now, if you want a shortcut, you want to just get a rotisserie chicken, pick the daylights out of it, you go right ahead. Um, but I have got my chicken picked and um, I'm just going to be using simple stuff that you should probably already have. I've got me some onion and um, my little handy dandy chopper. I've got me some onion and uh, carrots and a little celery. Um, we're gonna be browning that just a little bit. Now, also I wanna say for the sauce in the middle, um, I would normally, if I was just doing it completely from scratch, homemade, I would uh, put my butter in there, saute my vegetables, sprinkle my flour. You know I always say, let that flour cook a while to get that uh, flour taste off, and then start adding your chicken broth and your cream, and that is a great roux. But um, for y'all that's uh, looking for them shortcuts, we're gonna do a cream of chicken. 
uh, Campbell's cream of chicken. Can't go wrong with that. You know something's gonna be quick and good with those. And um, so I'm just gonna go over here to the stove and uh, start putting this together and show you just how quick it is quick and easy it is I can't talk today um, also I have my oven set at 400 so she's raring to go um, so let's get this together and get this dinner in the oven all right I'm just gonna put just a little bit of butter in here I'm gonna say about a half a stick of butter well it's just gonna be uh, cooking those vegetables down just a little bit now my shortcut is I'm gonna be using some frozen vegetables because this is gonna be quick, but um, I do like to incorporate a little fresh things in there too. So, get my butter melted here, and I'm gonna put these vegetables in. I got some carrots, some onions, and some celery. This is just gonna give it some really good flavor. I'm just throwing it everywhere. We just go cook these down just a little bit, let them get soft and tender. And I'm not, I'm gonna wait on um, adding my salt. I'll still flavor these, but I'm gonna wait um, for the salt because this cream of chicken, y'all, it, it does have some sodium in it. And um, I've got my chicken broth, it has a little sodium in it. So um, we don't wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna cook these down real soft. I'll go ahead and put some black pepper in it and some onion powder and some garlic powder so we get them seasoned up just a little bit. And I'm also gonna put some fresh garlic in here. About a teaspoon of uh, flavoring here on all these. About a teaspoon. Go ahead and give that a stir. We don't want it to stick. Now, if I was gonna make my roux, like I said, if I was gonna be making my sauce and not adding cream of chicken, I would just, uh, after this softened up, I would just sprinkle a little bit of that flour in there to make my roux. But we're doing it the fast and easy way. That seems to be um, what everybody wanted to see. Get some fresh garlic in here. This fresh garlic really makes a difference in the taste of everything. Turn that down, we don't want to get too sassy over here. All right. All right. Move this out of the way. Now these are starting to get tender. Starting to smell so good. Now I am gonna add some of my chicken broth that I have. Um, I'm gonna add about a cup of that in here. And um, it's cold y'all, so you see that good old chicken fat on the top right there? That's gonna melt down and just taste wonderful. And I'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and put the um, cream of chicken in. Get all this goodness out of here. Try to get all your money's worth out the can these days because everything's so expensive. I'm slinging it everywhere, Lord. All right, we're just gonna stir this up. Let this cook down just for a minute. And I'm also gonna add some uh, heavy whipping cream. Um, I'm gonna put about a, a, probably about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream in here for right now. And we're gonna just let this cook for just a minute. Get it mixed up and then we're gonna be adding these vegetables. Now this is so quick y'all to put this together. So easy. This is already looking good and smelling really good. It really does. It does. It smells good. All right, we'll put my heat back up. And um, this is the little vegetables that we've got. Um, carrots, green beans, corns, and peas. I just added those little bit of carrots in there with the onion and celery. But um, this is what we're going with today. You can put whatever kind of vegetables you like. In fact, um, 
whatever vegetables we had left over is normally what I used in a pie and a, whatever kind of pie. And you can also do um, different kind of meat. It, it does not have to be chicken. It can be turkey. This is also a great recipe when you have um, leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. But uh, it's already thickening up really good. You don't have to cook it too long because it's going to cook in the oven. We just want to get it mixed up. Now I'm going to put my chicken in here that um, I've got probably about two and a half cups of chicken. Might not need all of that. It's going to be a, a big pot of stuff. I'm going to go ahead with it. I'm uh, committed at this point. All right. It'll get it. It'll get it. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, we don't, you don't have to cook this too long, but it's nice and thick. Now, if yours happens to be too thick, you can add some more chicken broth in it. Um, that heavy whipping cream really uh, helps thicken it up too. So I'm just gonna let these uh, simmer for just a minute, and then we're gonna fill it up. Um, I'm gonna taste it, see what uh, I need, how much salt I need in it, because Lord, don't forget to taste stuff. And um, then we'll be ready to put it in our, in our, um, dish and get it going. All right, y'all, this is the consistency that you want right here. You don't want it too soupy. You don't want it too thick. Uh, you want it to, uh, when it cooks, it's gonna thicken up just a little bit too. So I've got my crust here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, crack an egg here. We're gonna get our egg wash ready to go on top because you wanna brush that uh, dough on top. Now you can uh, just do egg yolk and a tablespoon of water. You can do it this way. Just some egg and I'm just scrambling one little egg here. All right, um, let's go ahead. Got my dough rolled up here and I just rolled it out a little bit. And um, you ever want a little tip on how to, to put it on the pie, you can roll it up just like this on your little rolling pin. So we are going to switch sides here, get that out of the way, and start putting all our goodies in here. All this yumminess. Got them vegetables. Now, whenever I met Russell, <laughs> he had a whole nother version of a chicken pot pie, one I had never heard before. And um, he does not care for vegetables as much. Well, he eats them better now than what he used to. I will give him that. But when we met, he did, he was not fun, fond of any vegetables. And so when I made him chicken pie, he wanted it like his mama always made it, which was with just rice and chicken and boiled eggs. I know that sounds really odd, but um, actually it was very good. I, I will give him that as well. But um, that's how his mama made it for him because he didn't care for the vegetables. So, but he's my taste tester. And uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna be tasting this today with all these good old vegetables in it. <laughs> Are you excited, Russell? Yeah, I like vegetables good enough. Yeah, he does. He he really has gotten better with that, so uh, he can handle the vegetables. All right, look how pretty that looks, y'all. Just looking just as fine as it can be. Now, we're gonna take this dough that I've got rolled here that I almost just dropped. Just gonna put it right over the top. Now, if I was doing a pie crust, I would just fold these little ends up under the pie crust, but because I didn't have much um, much hangover there, we're just gonna tuck them like this. Just gonna tuck them in, tuck and go. And it's gonna be just fine. There you go. I went with the, um, the pastries, the puff pastry, just because of the size of my dish, to be honest. All right. I'm not gonna crimp it, do nothing fancy or any, anything with that. Just gonna mash it down because we want it to be sealed there. Now, I'm gonna get my knife, because uh, 
we'll just get a little knife here. You want to have, um, you want to have some air pockets in it so it just don't all puff up and just um, race to heaven. <laughs> so we're just going to uh, make us a little, little slit right here. We're going to try to, let me get a better knife. Do this a little better. Just make a little slit. These are not um, looking too hot. Here we go. There you go. All right. Just make a little vent for it so it don't puff up. All right, we got our little egg wash here. We'll throw that in there. We're just gonna brush it. Brush it all good. Get it all mixed in. There you go. Hello. Looking good. Well, <laughs> I think I let my little, uh, my dough get a little too warm. You do want to work with cold dough, I will give you that. I'll tell you that. That's always best. Some people just uh, put butter on top, but um, I'm going to do the little egg wash here. want to get it in all the little creases because you want that to um, burn. Now I'm going to cover this um, at first for like the first 20 minutes so the edges don't burn and um, so we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees and uh, let it cook and um, I'm gonna cover the edges with some aluminum foil for 20 minutes then we'll pull it out let it go 20 minutes without the aluminum foil all right, y'all, this uh, pot pie cooked for 20 minutes, covered up with some aluminum foil. I took it out of the oven uh, after 20 minutes and I uncovered it and uh, let it cook another 20 minutes and it turned out so good, y'all. It is, it's pretty, if nothing else. Now, I have not tasted it. That's what we got Russell for, but um, I hope it's gonna be good. So come on, Russell, come on in here. Chicken pot pie. Hey, you too. Hey, everybody. Hey, Dan. <laughs> hey, Dan. Look at here, buddy. Chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. One of those uh, good old Southern favorites. Yeah, it looks good. Comfort food, comfort food, y'all. I can't tell y'all, that, that's a pretty pie. It I is, it, it, it looks it pretty. It tastes near as good as it looks. And I good hope business. it, I, I'm hoping so. Well, I can't wait no longer. Now I have uh, watching the uh, the cooking of it. Yep. The smell of it in the oven. It's really hot. I I let it sit there She's for a piping. minute so your mouth wouldn't melt off. Oh, it's good. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, plenty of vegetables. The chicken is good. The yeah. Crust is flaky. Mm. Good. Yum. The crust is very good, y'all. Yay. Mm -hmm. The crust is real light and fluffy, y'all. It um, when I cut it, it just was a little crispy. It sounded good. It uh, hard to beat that. It's good stuff, ain't it? I know it's I not your piping though. <laughs> I know it's not your uh, your rice and boiled egg pie, but um, that's my favorite. But yeah, I know that's different, y'all. She said that's weird. It, I had never heard of it, y'all. I really had not. But um, it know, is good. I grew up, my mama, when she made chicken pie, that's what she made. Probably because this one wouldn't eat vegetables. Well, I don't know. I think my daddy likes it that way, too. Okay. But whatever. It, it, was, good. it is good. It is good. Yeah, um, it is. And I have seen... This um, is good right here, too, y'all. Very yeah. good. The feeling's good. Uh, especially considering... It didn't look, you didn't make that handmade dough and make it all hard yes. and simple, something simple, y'all. It is, it's very simple. And like I said, you can uh, make your own pie dough. Um, you can do all that, roll your pie crust out and everything. But what I've been hearing from everybody, let's keep it uh, simple. Keep it easy. Uh, keep it easy, because people's working, they ain't got time to be doing right. all you that. Don't, you don't want to be making hand. A lot of people say, uh, yeah, when I see a whole list of instructions, I just keep on scrolling. So we don't want you to do that. No, we want you to try it. 
Yep, yep. and this is all things that, uh, you know, you'd probably have already in your house. It's nothing weird, any weird ingredients. Yeah. So, um, and um, you can use canned vegetables as well. It doesn't even have vegetables to be the frozen one. Tender. Canned vegetables, leftover vegetables, just whatever mm -hmm. kind of variation that you like. It's good. It is good. It's real good. And this is something that um, can feed a big family too because I've made yeah, big, big, huge. Old, this is a big one. On that this, week. <laughs> this is a big one. And another thing, it freezes well. Yep. It freezes well. You can pre make this and um, make it later. But um, it does freeze well. But um, family friendly because uh, you can make a really big. Really big bowl of it. I used to make really big bowls of it. Yeah, this is <laughs> when all small. the kids this is were small home. To the normal yes, we yeah. it, it really is. But um, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, give it a try, y'all. Give a it a try. Very, very, it is delicious. It is yep. delicious. Creamy and uh, buttery and all the yeah. good things. Crust is flaky. Yep. Very good. And Filling's you, good. Got good chicken flavor. Yep. yep. All the good things. It's good. But anyway, that's all I can say about that one, y'all. That's all I got to say it. about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Yeah. Uh, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Plug along yeah. with me. Yep. And um, until next time. Peace.